like the buttercream cake our grandmother made. This Chardonnay. By the end of this, we're gonna be drunk. You guys, today we are trying vegan wines. A lot of people don't know that wines are not all vegan. The thing that makes it not vegan, because everyone thinks of wine like it's just like fermented grapes, mm -hmm. which is true, but there's this um, filtering process where they use like fish and eggs and milk. So that, the, for those reasons, certain wines are not vegan. First one we're gonna try is called Shaw, Charles Shaw. So obviously we are not wine experts. <laughs> We are definitely not wine experts, but we do like drinking wine. God, he already needs some. Okay, <laughs> back to Shaw. I honestly, I saw it and I got like the bottle called me. So I was like, oh, that was fancy. So I saw it and then I Googled it and I was like, oh my God, it's actually, this is a tasting, huh? What are we doing? I like it, what? Tastes grapey. It tastes grapey. Yeah. I would say it tastes like crispy, and I definitely could tell it's like grapes. It sounds so corny. It definitely grapes in that one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> $3.99 at Trader Joe's. That is like a pretty good price mm. there, Mr. Charles. Super cheap. We like it. Super cheap. So, we ended up Googling it some more. Finding is the process where um, like egg whites, for example, are added into like the barrel of wine where it captures all of like the small little particles so that way the wine can be clear. Mm -hmm. So I'm over here thinking they're gonna like cook some eggs and then it's gonna be like a layer and like you pour the wine and it like filters it somehow. That's what I think. <laughs> uh, would it still be vegan if they could remove all of it? Or the fact that it went through there. I would assume it's like the fact that it went through there at all. Like you guys used animals to do it, therefore it's not vegan. Mm -hmm. All right, the next one is 2017 Ashler Vineyard. It's like the fanciest bottle. It's fancy. So I got this one at Total Wine. Um, it's the most expensive one, unlike the last one, which was the cheapest one. This one is $19.99. The most exciting thing when I went to Total Wine, cause I, we went to like Lee's Liquor and I couldn't find anything that was like on like PETA's website, like, you know, with vegan like brands and stuff that they recommend. So then I went to Trader Joe's and then I found a couple, but then I went to Total Wine and they had an entire section. No. You're so unprofessional. Who pours like that? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to pour from the side? I just seen in restaurants, like they, like, I see them like hold it, like they have the bat with like a little napkin around here, and they're like. You forgot your napkin. With their hand behind their back. <laughs> Whoa. This one's like sweeter. This one's like melony ish. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm chasing the pear. When it comes to white wines, we are like wine white level. Wine, white wine. <laughs> oh no. Why are you, what's wrong with you? I don't know. You had a quarter glass. I feel like Lucy Goosey. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. What Lucy Goosey? <laughs> For real. Okay. Buttercream Chardonnay, California, 2017. All right. So, this one's not quirky. <laughs> so, this one we got at um, Total Wine again. This one was $13.99. It was also labeled vegan under the organic section. I like pause for a minute and I want to give Total Wine like Y'all are doing good because that was so helpful. Like, you know, when you go into the grocery store and you want to just go straight to like, give me the vegan section. Anyways, buttercream. It's so interesting because it's vegan, but it has buttercream in the name. I feel like I can kind of taste the vanilla. 
So I can understand um, why they named it buttercream because I think it's like it's like smooth, but then it's like it's like, like dry though too. I don't know how to explain it, but it's still like smooth though. <clears throat> it is smooth. I like that one. Yeah. Okay, next one is Carmel Road. Mm. Carmel? Caramel? Carmel. Caramel. Mi amor. What? This one is made in Monterey. <clears throat> you guys, oh, yeah. we are getting married in Monterey. So we're excited about that. We were supposed to be married this year, 2020. Oh, like 10 years already. She sure, you didn't pop the question. Mm. Anyway. Mm. <laughs> That's good, the tasty. <laughs> That's my favorite one, I think. Really? I like the first one, but I like this one too. Carmel Road is $12.99 and we got that one at Total Wine. That one was not in the vegan section or it wasn't in the organic section. Um, I got in like the regular Chardonnay section, but it's still vegan. We like it and we like the scenery and we gonna get married there. Mm -hmm. Next one is a Shutter Home. Shutter Home Sangria. Oh. Moscato Sangria. <laughs> okay, look it. Shutter Home is the big I brand. Think it's Sutter. Sutter? What did I say? Shutter. Yeah, Sutter Home. Sutter Home. I'm gonna drink it a little too much. Uh, Sutter Home is a pretty big brand. You can find them pretty much anywhere. Mm -hmm. Only thing is, not all of them are vegan friendly. So we have this one at the gas station mm -hmm. right down um, the street from our house. Always. $5. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like candy or perfume. I love carbonation and it's like a little carbonated. Hmm. It tastes like carbonated juice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. It's definitely a dessert wine, I will yeah. say. It tastes crisp. It tastes fruity. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I like it. It's good. It's probably amplified after having all the other ones that aren't like probably super sweet. dessert saved for last. Yeah. I'm gonna say the Charles Shaw for me was my favorite. I love the taste of it and the way it's like, I don't know, it just it's really good. Like um, refreshing kind it's of refreshing, yeah. yeah. And the second one I would say is the Carmel, mm -hmm. the Carmel Road, that one was good. I would say third, the Sutter Home Moscato. Like we've had I feel like each one of them was actually good. Yeah. That's really surprising. All very, of them were good. I'm very surprised. That's genuine, you guys. Like, we're not just saying that. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. See you in our next one. Salute. Cheers. Got nothing in my thing. Oh, we don't really like drink wine to like criticize it. Yeah, it's it's just, just we drink wine just to you know loosey goosey and feel mm -hmm. good. Loosey goosey. <laughs> like, yep, that's it. I'm the co-host. <laughs> You're take lead. I'm the co-host. I'm an introvert. I don't talk. Salute. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> No? Alright.